have to be friends now. I know. Oh my god! So we have to be friends now. Wow. <laughs> Earlier that day. What's up everybody? Flip here, EUC Chronicles back with another video. How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's been a while, but I told you in the last video I wouldn't be back. <laughs> I told you. I warned you. So, you know, don't come at me. Don't come at the kid. But anyway, how's everybody doing? Uh, just to give you some context of what's going on. Uh, from the footage that you saw when the video just started, I was out for a ride this past weekend, and um, I wanted to go for a high speed ride, which is, you know, for me is not normal. I usually cruise in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range, but uh, I just wanted to get out and push my wheel um, and push myself. So I went out. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm I'm just I'm out. I'm going for it. I'm gleaming the cube. I was I was about uh, 30 to 34 miles an hour, like consistently uh, through a lot of my ride, um, which was a first for me. The last time I went that fast, I think I was riding with Seth. And that's only because, you know, he was pushing me because I don't wear a whole hell of a lot of gear and I don't have the best gear and I you know, as much as everyone keeps talking about these full face helmets, I don't like wearing them. And it's not because I don't like my teeth or I don't like my jaw and all that other funny shit that people like to say. It's just because it's just very uncomfortable and it limits my vision. And uh, I already have two of them and I don't feel like dishing out any more hundreds of dollars to get another one, you know, just to, you know, be that much more comfortable or i don't even know if it will be that much more comfortable so that's why i like to keep myself riding at lower speeds when i do go out and kind of like to stay away from heavy traffic and things like that just to you know limit the risk of injury if i do get injured you know it's somewhat manageable like i said i wanted to push myself uh i didn't have any gloves i could have got gloves before i left the house but i, I didn't and, and that's the only thing that was kind of on my mind while i was riding at those speeds was just like man yeah you probably should have gloves on more than anything else because that's the first thing that's going to touch the ground if you bail is your hands you know and i need my hands yeah what you saw was uh you know me earlier while i was out i bumped into somebody who <laughs> rides an electric unicycle finally in my neighborhood how crazy is that and what's even more crazier is how it happened now i have the footage the real live footage of, of of how it actually played out but the audio is horrible because the wind was just whipping so because i was talking to you guys i saw i was going to do kind of like a live commentary video where i didn't have to do the voiceover but as i play it back and after i eq the audio with the wind in it it's just uh, i i hate wind noise i hate it so much so um i didn't put it in but basically what happened was i was on the top of a hill taking a quick break and um as i'm talking to you guys out of my peripheral i see somebody moving along obviously faster than somebody would be walking and it and obviously at the speed of somebody would was if they were riding a bicycle but i can tell that their arms weren't extended and their you know their body wasn't you know how when you're riding a bike you're you know you 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 kind of slanted over the bike and your arms are extended they wasn't doing that they were just moving so i was like whoa that has to be either one of two things, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically a, a, a one wheel or an EUC. So I beeline it after this person. And as I get up close, I realize that it's a female. I was like, holy shit. So as you can see, I introduced myself and we started talking. I cut the video. I have the rest of the clip. But like I said, as we're riding and talking, the wind from my camera was just so bad that the audio is not really that usable. But just to summarize, she's been riding for two years in my neighbor, almost two years. This September, she said, will be two years. Um, so year and a half um, in my neighborhood. And this is the first time we're running into each other, which was crazy because I go to that park fairly often to, to ride. Um, you, you've seen that park in a lot of my other videos. The, the UC Vibes music video 
where he put that clip of me in the music video that's that very same park damn near in the very same place where me and her are riding so it was just uncanny to bump into somebody who's been riding that long in the, my neighborhood and we're finally finally meeting up um well it's great though because i finally have a, a riding partner that doesn't have to drive an hour or two hours to get together for group rides you, i told you about the guy in albany that uh i i do know that has an electric unicycle but every time i hit him up for us to to get up our schedules are always mismatched so we've never gotten a chance to ride which is no biggie you know what i'm saying but um that's the only other person i know but after meeting her i realized that man they, they there must be other people around it's just that you know because of timing or whatever the case you know you're you're, you're not bumping into them but i can see if she says she's been riding for you know three months six months something like that it's like okay well you're super new you probably just found out about it but to be riding for two years she had to bump into other people within the neighborhood just like i have that stopped me and asked me, hey, what is that thing? And whatever the case may be, uh, actually did some footage of an uh, older gentleman in the video asking the same thing. He stopped me and, and wanted to know about the, the brand I was riding. He wanted to look it up and get one himself. So there has to be other people around that isn't connected to EUC World. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to tell her about EUC World. Um, and that, you know, obviously don't have, you know, the Facebook group page and stuff like that. Um, but now I'm like, want to like scour the neighborhood a little bit more and see you know when it gets warmed up how many mother other people i can um i can bump into if possible um the other topic i wanted to touch on which was i was touching on when i was telling you about being on top of the hill having a conversation with you guys what i was saying to you guys is that and i don't want people to take this the wrong way because you know i love you guys and i love the sport but I'm kind of getting tired of talking about electric unicycles and not like in this form where, you know, I'm just kind of explaining to you what my day was or what I did or what I was doing in the video, but more so just like, you know, getting on and talk, oh, the master this or the S20 or the S22 and all that stuff. Like, I think I've really reached my limit of like, I don't care you know i i, I and, and i'm not saying that in a in a pissy way i'm just saying in a way where like i generally do not have an excitement talking about the wheels and the and the, the battery life and the range and all that stuff if i'm explaining to somebody else who wants to get into sport that's totally different but to get on here and speculate and 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 give my opinion on this wheel and that i i i really just don't have that lust to do it like i've done in the past year and a half and um and th and there's other things i wanted to talk about and other things i want to do and get into and that's where that struggle was coming in where we were speaking about a few episodes back about like do i split up my youtube channel do i make another channel blah 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 but I've come to the decision that I'm not going to split up the channel. I've already have the flip root page, which I haven't touched in forever because one, I haven't been in VR as much as I have. Um, also, because the bar that I worked at for the past 13 years as a DJ has finally closed its doors after 17 years of being in business. So that it wasn't unexpected because I've talked with the owners about it a few times we didn't have a date but we knew it was coming eventually but um me having my weekends back is great because you know I, I i don't have to like delegate my time you know in certain ways when it comes to the weekends because like friday nights and saturday nights i'm out partying or whatever the case may be getting home real late and then that messes me up for the next day because you know you don't want to wake up early and go do things so i have a little bit more time on the weekends to play and go out and enjoy myself which is great um and i also because of the fact that i've lost that income now i've picked up more work or other accounts at my job you know to stay busy and 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 keep the steadily income coming in as it was you know uh, that's the one thing i loved about djing you know for four hours of work you can get anywhere from three to five hundred bucks real easy doing uh bars and nightclubs 
and um, I relied on that for 13 years you know like I, that it was just always there and and this is really like one of the first times where it's just like all right it's over <laughs> and like and I'm struggling with like do I even want to go back into the bars like do I even want to take time out to start like scouring and, and going out to different venues and, and and meeting other club owners and stuff like that and 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 schmoozing and 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 shaking babies and kissing hands and you know i don't i don't know i really don't know uh, you know I, that's why i'm kind of enjoying this break because i get to kind of sit down and and, and really reevaluate what i want to do for the next leg of this journey uh i still have bookings like i this friday i'm doing a gig at a elementary school it's called like teen town where they you know they have like little parties for for the for the kids there and so i have a contract with them for the next two months so i'll be doing that which is great i'm actually looking forward to that because one it's only an hour and a half of my time of DJing, I think it's from eight to nine thirty or seven to eight thirty. Forgive me. So I'm excited about that, um, and and the, the rate of pay is pretty much the same. <laughs> so that's a plus. Um, almost like to the point where like I wonder if I could finesse to do this all the time, <laughs> but I'm sure that's not going to happen. But uh, to get back to what I was saying earlier, um, like I said, I love you guys and I love the community. I love uh, being able to make videos, um, writing videos or what have you and, and the lives. I love how, the lives. I actually miss doing lives. I totally do. Um, it's just like I'm getting up earlier during the week. So being up super late Sundays is not the best because I have horrible sleeping habits to where some nights I can go and get you know five hours of sleep easy and then there's some nights i'll go and i won't get any sleep you know and i'll be up from the night before all the way to the next day and um so i try to kind of regulate my sleeping schedule a little bit to kind of get myself in in a routine you know but i'm not gonna stop making videos especially like riding my euc it's just that i don't want to like participate in the reindeer games bro like i don't and you know i i feel bad a little bit because i don't want to like let anybody down or or you know make anybody think i'm abandoning all that i built up in the past year and a half or so with this channel and and, and getting all these followers and subscribers and supporters that's not the case it's just there's so much more i want to do like you know like and, and 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 not just do but like to upload and and share with people and i don't want to i don't have the time to really break everything up and have you know this channel for this and that channel for that and i and, and you know I, I don't you know not quitting writing at all i love filming myself writing my euc uh, and I love talking to you guys. I just don't want to participate in, in, in all the this, that, and the third. I think I'm going to leave that for... There's so many other channels out there that do it far better than I do and have a bigger audience. Let them do that. Let them be that. I, I, I'm going to come on here and act a fool and goof off and, and you know, do things a little bit differently, you know? So to some degree this is like farewell but not like farewell like i'm leaving you guys it's just farewell to like the content you've been used to seeing thus far on this channel um not saying that i won't talk about an issue or something big comes up in the future i won't touch on it it's just um like i said i want to do more things and and the only way for me to actually do that is to take a stand and just say, you know what, that's enough. I'm going to start just drifting off and I'm not worried about the view count and things like that. I just want to get certain things uploaded. I mean, some of you may know when I first moved to upstate New York, I worked at public access for ooh, 10 years and I had my own TV show on public access. and made dudge it's basically a sketch comedy show and I, and I did all that stuff and i would like to get back into doing some of those things you know like i was watching some of my old footage a friend of mine uh shout out to sean he uh he called me one day he's like yo i found two of your dvds from like 
you know, <laughs> 10 years ago, that was basically like me compiling all the skits that I did at, at Channel 16, and I put it on this DVD, and then just watching it, one was a blast from the past because there was friends on there that passed away that I have footage that I for completely forgot about, so that was just mind-blowing to, to, to see them. And then just to watch the progression and, and, and you know, people love the Dave Chappelle show. We were doing stuff like that on, 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 on my show. And, yeah, I would like to do more, you know, and I would like to incorporate EUCs as much as possible going forward. I would like to incorporate EUCs as much as possible um, because, like I said, I'm very passionate about them. I, I, I enjoy writing. I enjoy talking to people about them and, and where they can find them and, and, and all that. It's just... Um, you know, like I said, I'm gonna let the other guys, I'm gonna let the big dogs, let the big dogs like Duff and all those guys, let those let those guys handle and be your new source for you know EUC content and and you know a, a PEV content. I just want to hang out with you guys and kick it and share my stuff. And if you like my stuff, cool. If you don't, cool. You know, like there's no harm, no foul. And you know maybe I'll, I'll bring some more subscribers in in the future that aren't EUC writers, but you know they can go back and watch some of my old footage and, and get an idea of what you know what this channel started out <laughs> as. But I go I do like research on like bigger YouTubers, and I love going to like someone who has a huge channel and go all the way to the beginning of what they posted. Now some people obviously they they privatize a lot of their beginning content when they start getting rolling but some people don't some people literally leave like their videos from like when they started and i love watching the progression of a lot of these people and seeing how they went from doing one thing and now they have like a normal format on their on their youtube and and i think i'm kind of leaning towards that direction and you know to be honest my time isn't as free as it was you know um during the pandemic and all that stuff, I had all the time in the world to do this stuff, and it was it was great. And now it's like sometimes I have to force myself to get episodes out, and you see how well that works. <laughs> so, like I said, man, like I don't want to drag this out. It's already eighteen minutes in or so. Um, I just wanted to come on here and and say what up. Uh, you know, show you that we're growing we're getting we're getting more people starting to ride now which at least for me in my area which is extremely exciting because i never thought i saw the day <laughs> i never thought you know like especially as random as that happened you saw how surprised she was um and yeah now i have a new friend to, to ride with you know um so and that's that's exciting as well but um i hope everybody is doing excellent and thank you for hanging out with me for this long ass video <laughs> sorry if you made it to the end that's great um and you know i would like to hear from you guys about what you think about how you know me not doing so much euc content anymore and like you know you know don't hold back if you if, if you <laughs> if you think i'm being stupid and, and and being silly let me know um like I said, I, 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 I enjoy it. I enjoy I don't, all opinions. I enjoy it all, you know, and, 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 I, and I like engaging with you guys. Um, there's more stuff coming. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be uploading little things here and there. And also, for me, I like to get a lot of this stuff off my hard drive and just get it into cyberspace. So where if something happened to some of my hard drives, a lot of stuff that I care about is uploaded somewhere else so you know that's another reason for doing that without you know starting a whole nother channel <laughs> but i hope everybody's doing good um new wheels coming soon so I i'm gonna place an order at some point which we already know what I'm going to place an order for. A friend of mine hit me up and she was selling her EXN and her RS19. She wants to know if I was interested. And I was telling her as much as I would jump on either one of those, it just doesn't make any sense because they're both very low mileage and very good condition. So obviously she wants close to what she paid for them. But I'm like, if the master's going to be out 
with a twenty four hundred dollar, twenty five hundred dollar price point, there's no sense to even me be buying the V eleven either. You know, as much as I want to get my hands on that, because that's basically twenty one ninety nine. You know, um, so yeah, the, I, for me, full master all the way. Nothing I've seen so far has made me change my mind or get scared or you know me not want the wheel I, that's the wheel i want so my only concern is when to place the order how long is it going to take to get here do i wait till after summer before summer blah 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 well we'll figure that out as time marches on until then you guys stay safe enjoy yourselves have some fun i will see you soon and don't forget to let me know um how silly i'm being <laughs> <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Peace.